Hi, Carl here, KE0JWK. I'm back with part four. Um, this time we're going to take a look at the uh, optimizer and uh, let's, let me get to, let's go back uh, to the editor for just a minute here. Okay, so we've got our variable set. Just going to rehash what we did in the last video. Um, now, the way I've got my variables done, like uh, radial height 1, which is in the center where it attaches to the radiator, um, I referenced uh, H1, the, the bottom of the radiator. Okay, so this um, I don't think will show up in the optimizer. Uh, same thing, anything you've referenced one of the other variables with, I don't think will uh, let you uh, do anything. I'll have to, I don't know. We'll see when I get there, but it's been a while since I've used it. Um, uh, the way around that, if I want to use these as variables, I could take my 158 from up here and just highlight this and get rid of the H1 there and change it to 158. The problem with that is if I change this, I'll also have to go through and change change the number down here. Um, whereas the way I've referenced other variables, all I'd have to do is change this 158. Um, and it'll change all those numbers uh, in the in this screen here um, <clears throat> the, the numbers that it's working working with okay so let's uh, this little uh, button right here is your your uh, optimizer it wants me to close this window first so we're going to do that going to click optimizer again and there's the variables that's going to allow us to work with the the height one, which is the base of the the vertical radiator and where the uh, radials attached to it. Uh, radial length one, which is z zero on the x and y axis. Um, if you were you know, here, we can look at it here. Let me get the numbers up there. Wire numbers. Okay, that's the center point here. Um, radial length two, which is 18. That's the, the length of, of the radials from center point to their ends on each of them. So, all that being said, um, we're going to use H1 variable and the RL2 variable for these calculations. We're going to use the optimizer. It also has an evolve tool, uh, which uh, is takes significantly longer, but you have some other options with it. But for this, since we've already got this antenna almost almost where we want it, we're just going to use the optimize uh, tool. So I've got those chosen. Um, I can weight it heavier or lighter to any given factor. If I just want to get a low SWR, I can put it 100% on SWR and make zero on all of these. If I, uh, in this case, let's go uh, uh, 100 in SWR and 100 in gain. And... Um, Let's see what it does for us. I could, if it was a beam antenna or some uh, uh, some other sort of directional antenna, I could set the front to back or the front to rear ratios that I wanted. Um, I could set the resistance, uh, the capacitance, um, the radiate. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, that's uh, the radiation efficiency, I believe, is what that setting there is. Uh, so. Let's uh, let's get this thing started. I'll show you how it works. I'm going to make it full screen, see if it's a little easier for you to see. And uh, like I said in one of the earlier videos, um, if you want to see what all the numbers are and, and the different uh, things going on, it's best to watch it full screen uh, where you won't strain your eyes. Maybe it's just me because I'm getting old and have bad eyes. I don't know. So we'll hit the start button and let it get to work. As you can see, it's doing. As you can see, it's it's calculating and giving us the results uh, after every set of calculations. Um, like for instance, uh, uh, itineration one, the third one it did um, had the SWR at 1.9, which is higher than where we started, by the way, and the gain at 5.57. If you look over here, um, uh, this is what it uh, what it set it that height at the h1 it made it 158.81 inches and uh, that radial length it had down to 11.593 inches okay so it thinks it's done for the moment the 
final result was an SWR. Now this is at 147 megahertz. Uh, the SWR was 1.4293 with a gain of 5.44. But uh, we're going to click OK and we're going to let it take it a little farther. Because I, uh, I think it can do a little better than that. Um, if, it, uh, if it raises this antenna up. Um, which you know sometimes you'll have to do this a whole bunch of times and every time it'll it'll calculate it and it'll, a little bit different than it did the time before um, see we've got uh, um, we're getting down to a 1.1 SWR with a 5.37 5.36 gain um, on that uh, that would be that low lobe that uh, we had looked at on the uh, on the pattern let's see if that screens open up pop it up here and there we go so on this on the pattern down there that you're looking at at the bottom that uh, would be that lowest lobe I've got a whole bunch of stuff open on my computer right now I'm sh um, but uh, either way I mean it's uh, uh, I believe that's what's slowing it down but Everything's open. The recording uh, software's open uh, to uh, give this to you guys. And um, it is a little power hungry. This program is, but uh, um, considering this is a pretty old laptop I'm running on, I don't remember the specs off the top of my head. It actually, uh, um, I'm pretty happy with how fast it it works. Um, okay. Now, if you look over here in the variables, where the cursor is there. Uh, you can see it's raised this uh, antenna up to 234 and a half inches so far and um, it's made those radials um, we're in uh, almost 17 and a half inches long it's shortened them up uh, from I think we started out set it at um, 18 inches or 18 and a half I believe what we is what we had on that editor okay so it's uh, it's it thinks it's done again and uh, let's see where it has it. It's got it at a uh, SWR uh, at 147 megahertz of 1.17 with a gain of uh, 6.22 dBi. <clears throat> and uh, that puts it at 234 and a half inches. Let's bring a calculator up here, see where that puts us. Um, we just call it 235. And in feet, that's, uh, oops. Better hit that. Uh, better hit that back button, huh? 235 in in feet. That's uh, 19 and a half feet. Um, we can take a look at uh, for uh, you metric folks. That's 5.969 meters. So about six meters high, um, and uh, about 20 feet high uh, for for us SAE people. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. Now when I exit, it will ask me if I want to. Oh. Uh, maybe it's only when the evolve tool. I thought it would ask me if I wanted to save that. Let's see if it if it put it in uh, for us already. Uh, I don't want that screen. I want the editor. Let's see if it changed those. Uh... Nope, we're still at 158. So what I could have done was um, just remembered what the numbers were in there. I could have came in and changed these two variables. I could start the optimizer all over again and start from scratch. Um, where it's at or change these numbers and um, and then go from there and see if it can do any better um, let's do a little calculating on this let's take a look at the far field pattern one more time all right um, just in case you forgot what it looked like a while ago it's still the same um, but uh, this bottom lobe if we would have changed those uh, the definition of H1 and RL2, that bottom lobe, um, would be out here a little farther. Um, I don't know what it would have done to the rest of them, but um, <clears throat> I can uh, I can check it out and see if it's anything significant. I'll come back with it. Um, but uh, you know, for a quick little ground plane antenna, and uh, if I get a chance, I'll uh, I'll actually th throw this together. Um, you know what? I think I've got one uh, in the closet somewhere. Um, that is, I don't know if the dimensions are exactly the same, but maybe we'll hit on that too. And uh, I'll give you, for those of you that uh, haven't messed, I'll give you a look at what it uh, 
what a simple little wire ground plane is uh, is like. All right, well that's it for right now, and uh, um, we'll get back to this in uh, next time around. Maybe we'll scale this antenna up to uh, um, maybe 20 meters or something, and see what it looks like, or 10 meters, see what it looks like there. Let me know in the comments if you got something you want me to scale it up to, with six meters, uh, 10, 20. Um, it's uh, it's going to grow significantly to do that, but it's really easy to do using the var variables here. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, find it help, found it helpful or hilarious, whatever, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, that way you'll get notified uh, when the next video comes up. Thanks a lot, K0JWK.